All right, thanks, Daniel. Well, in today's Parenting Navigating the Journey Together, we want to know what is the best way to talk to your kids about coronavirus. Now, Dr. Tina, you've been with us all morning, and we know for like our little ones, a lot of times, like we just turn it off and we don't ever address what's going on. So how do you talk to them and like put it in terms they get? Sure, so first realize that they're hearing about it, either at school or they're picking this up, you know, on TV, on the internet. Um, you know, there are a lot of videos out there, a lot of information, a lot of misinformation. So I think the most important thing for parents to realize is that kids are hearing about it. Mm -hmm. um, so be reassuring and ask them what they know or what they okay. think or what they've heard about coronavirus because there's probably, there are a lot of misconceptions mm -hmm. and they may be hearing false information. And so I think as a parent, for you to, uh, for, you, for you to ask your child, what are they hearing? What do they know about coronavirus? And then you can help clarify or explain what's actually happening. Okay. Be very reassuring. And you know, the, the good news with this particular is that children seem to be less susceptible than other individuals. So they some, they're somehow protected, it seems, mm -hmm. um, when we look at what's happening around the world. So again, be reassuring, but then good, teach them these good preventive habits. So right. be reassuring, but then also tell them, you know, let them know what you're doing to protect them and your family. Mm -hmm. Talk to them about good hygiene habits. They may be worried about their grandparents as we hear more, yeah. you know, older individuals are more severely affected. So let them know again what you're doing to protect not only them, but also those older individuals in your family. And that's really all the kids need is they need that little reassurance. Now we did have a question about how safe is it for me to send my child to daycare? Should I look for a private sitter? So I would not change what you're, what you're currently doing. Uh, daycare workers actually go through uh, training mm -hmm. on you know, good, these good hygiene right. uh, tips that we've talked about. That's actually part of their training. Uh, we inspect daycares, we, work, we talk with the daycare staff about again, uh, good hygiene practices and ways to prevent infection um, in daycare centers. So I would not change what you're doing. And then you know, one thing that we were talking about earlier is like you know, they have different um, videos and things that are out there. And one of them, um, it, you know, flooding, like one of them is TikTok. That's yes. a big thing with like the young kids, but like kind of teaching them like how to wash their hands. Here it is right now. But it's really like being aware of what your kids are seeing. Like this is fun and, and can be fun for them. But then there's other things out there that can be a little frightening. Exactly. And I would ask them to show you what it is that they're watching uh, so that you can again help mm -hmm. to clarify or clear up any misconceptions. And so the good news about some of those videos, it's fun, but it, it actually, they actually probably do help to teach a message right. in a way that we may not be able to teach children. All right. Thanks a lot, Dr. Tina. And um, we're going to have you on in just a little bit uh, to kind of wrap up our question and answer portion.